Hello everybody. This is a rules explanation for the game So Long Sucker. Uh, this is, video is in memoriam of John Nash, the creator of this game, mathematician who died recently. Um, I'm going to give the rules explanation here because uh, some people find that the rules online are a little fuzzy. I also think the rules are a little fuzzy, so if I make any mistakes, uh, please feel free to correct me in the comments. The game is very simple. It is a game of uh, negotiation and bluffing and diplomacy and, I'm sorry, no bluffing, <laughs> backstabbing. Um, I guess you could bluff as well in this game. In any case, um, the game involves four players and each player has seven chips. Uh, I only have six chips in front of me, but in the game you're supposed to have seven chips of each color. If you had more players, you would have less chips. But the rules are basically written for four players. So. Everyone starts with seven chips of their color, and you are trying to be the last man standing by eliminating any other player, either by killing their chips, i.e. putting them in the kill box, or by capturing all their chips so that the other person has no chips to play with. Um, in the game, you know, excuse me, uh, you have um, essentially one, one thing to do. Uh, which is to play a chip to the center of the table. You play a chip to the center of the table, that creates a stack, and then you offer play to any of the other players. Okay, so you might say yellow, you go next. So yellow then takes one of their chips, and they can either play, make a new stack separate from the other one, and there can be as many stacks on the table as needed. They either make a new stack or they can stack their chip on top of another player's chips uh, or another stack. Yellow is just going to stack his chip right there and he's going to pass the move over to blue. Blue is going to say, hey yellow, um, how about if I play my chip right there and then I give you the play and then you play wherever you want and then you, you give me the play back and then I'll stack my second chip here and I will capture orange. Now, capturing works if you have two chips of the same color on top of the stack. Um, this is called a capture. When a capture happens, all the chips in that stack are then subject to these rules. One, one of the chips has to be eliminated. And two, uh, all of the chips that uh, that are left in the stack then go to the player who played whose color is represented by these two chips uh, and I say that it sounds a little confusing right now but it might it'll make more sense later so in any case uh, blue let me just drop that chip yeah all right so blue says to yellow I'm gonna play this chip right here you I'm gonna give you the play and then you give it back to me um, so far, I was kind of going in a clockwise, uh, counterclockwise direction, but in actuality, the last player to play a chip gets to choose any player to go next. Okay, so yellow is uh, blue is going to tell yellow, hey, let's do this, let's work together, let's get orange out of the game one chip at a time. Blue says, okay, yeah, sure, sounds good. So blue placed his chip here, and then yellow goes. Uh, hey, Orange, why don't you play a chip somewhere and then give me the playback and then I will stack on top of here and then I will kill Blue and I will capture Orange and I'll give that back to you later as, you know, surprise because we're buddies and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kill your chip. Orange goes, you know what? Sure. Sounds fine. But I'm going to stack my chip here just as a bit of insurance, okay? So yellow goes, okay, that's cool. So orange stacks his chip there. Orange gives the play back to yellow. Yellow goes, bam. Now yellow's got his two chips on top. He is going to kill that blue chip. And then he gets to capture any other chips that remain. So now yellow has an orange chip. This is called a prisoner. Prisoners can be killed at any time. Uh, or they can be uh, used as bargaining chips, uh, literally. So uh, let's say Orange is like, 
oh, maybe I'll uh, stack right here and kill your yellow chip. And or yellow goes, yeah, that's fine. If you do that, I'm going to kill one of your chips. And every chip that goes out of the game is one step closer to losing. So uh, obviously you don't want to lose chips. Getting them captured is not so bad because you can potentially, you know, barter. I'll trade you one of my chips for one of your chips, so-and-so. Um, so capturing is not as bad as killing, but um, it's still not great. Anyways, so yellow played that chip. They were able to uh, capture that pile. Um, and now it is yellow's turn still because yellow, uh, because yellow killed the pile he's able to make the next move. Uh, yellow can play one of his yellow chips or one of his orange chips. Okay, sorry, just clarifying something. Um, so, uh, yellow can play onto any pile right now. Um, because there was a capture, uh, then yellow is completely open to play anywhere. Um, if yellow plays here, he cannot give the play to orange because the pile most recently played on contains the color orange. If yellow played here, then he could give the play to orange and orange could potentially play here and kill yellow. Uh, but uh, yellow killed the last pile. So that the last pile that was played on is no longer in play. So yellow can play anywhere that they want. Um, but as soon as yellow plays onto a pile, then the next player that yellow names cannot be any color represented in that pile. All right. Um, if all colors are in the pile, the next, uh, let's say green played here. If all colors are in a pile, then this is a default. Uh, what needs to happen is that the, uh, the player's chip color who is lowest in the pile, uh, at most recently lowest in the pile, uh, will then go next. So orange in this scenario would have the next play because they are lowest in the pile. Um, even though yellow is here, yellow's most recently played chip is higher. So orange's most recently played chip to the pile is the lowest chip. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So let's reset this back to where it was. Okay, so yellow killed that pile, yellow captured that pile. He got an orange prisoner, and we have this scenario right now. Um, yellow is going to start a new pile because uh, they don't really feel like putting in a whole bunch of chips into this pile right now. And yellow is going to say, uh, you know what? Um, hey, blue, you and I don't have an alliance. And it seems like yellow and orange have an alliance. So how about we team up? I'm going to place my chip right here. And then uh, why don't you play wherever you want and then give me the playback and then I'll place my chip on top of green, on top of the screen. So blue goes, yeah, okay, sounds good. Those dirty double crossers. So I'm gonna play my chip right there. And then green goes, all right, sounds good. I'm gonna play my chip right here. And now there are two green chips and that means green gets to capture the pile. And green goes, you know what, blue, since you helped me out there, you tell me what color you want me to kill and I'll kill it. And blue goes, well, yellow was the first Double dirty crossing bastard. So I want you to kill yellow. Now green goes, no problem. Now green has an orange prisoner, and there is one less yellow chip in play. It's green's turn. Green can play anywhere um, on any pile, and he can use any chip. So if green wanted to, green could play an orange on top of here. And then if you see the point there, it is that. Uh, Green played an orange chip. Green can name any player whose color is not represented in that pile. Green does not have a color chip in this pile. So green can name himself to take another turn. So having prisoners basically allows you to take multiple turns in succession as well, if you want. So green, whatever green is gonna say, okay, you know, I'll just play this orange. And then I'm going to name green as the next player to go. And then green says, I'm going to play this chip right here. Now there are four chips, all four colors are represented. And green says to yellow, yellow, you get next play. 
if you play off of here, uh, I will I will capture your yellow and I'll give it back to you and I'll kill whatever chip you want. And the yellow's like, eh, you know what? I don't I don't want to lose another chip. Um, but yellow goes no. Yellow goes okay, fine. I'm gonna play right there. And then I'll give you the play again, green, and then green goes right here. And green now has captured another stack. Green says, yellow, who do you want me to kill? Yellow goes, I want you to kill blue. Blue goes, no, 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 come on, man, I thought we were friends. Green's like, sorry, man, no friends in this game. So now, green gets his chips back, and it is his turn again. Green can then play anywhere. Um, I believe that green could do this. Place the yellow on top of there, which makes a capture. And then he has to kill one of those chips, so he kills the yellow. And then gets the last yellow. I think that's a valid play. And then it's green's turn again. And now everybody hates green, because green has the most chips. He's got prisoners. But you know what? He is closest to winning right now. So, that is the basic rules of the game um i mean that's there's really not much more to it than that like i said if i missed anything please let me know um and if i made any mistakes please let me know and if you think this game sounds fun you can thank the late great john nash jr uh who invented it have a good day bye i forgot to mention uh how a player is exactly eliminated from the game um when a player has a move to make. Um, let's say blue places this chip here and uh, blue gives the play to orange. Orange has no chips in front of them. Just because they have no chips in front of them doesn't necessarily mean that they're out of the game. Um, they don't even need to have their own colored chips in front of them. If they had a yellow chip that's still enough to be in the game. Um, but if they have no chips in front of them and they get the play passed to them. Uh, they first have to see if anybody will offer them a chip, offer them a prisoner. Again, they could be offered uh, a chip of their own color, or they could be offered, um, or they could be offered a, a prisoner of a different color. Um, it doesn't matter. They need to have a chip to play. If they do not have a chip to play in their turn, they're eliminated from the game and uh, they don't come back, they're, they're just out of the game. If at some point um, to, um, if at some point the orange player, the orange player's chips are used to capture a stack, uh, no matter who played it, that entire stack is killed. Nobody gets anything from that, and it's just a, a mean, rotten thing that can happen. So. Uh, like I said, once all of the, once everybody's chips are gone, um, then the player with the only chips remaining, actually, even if, if everybody has no chips out, let's say if green has one chip and blue has zero chips and then green plays their last chip and says, okay, blue, it's your turn. You can go next. And blue has no chips remaining. Even though green has no chips, green has still won because blue has been eliminated before green was eliminated. So. That is the end game. Sorry about that. Forgot to include that. Okay, thanks. Bye.